Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. And today we are going to be going over a pros and cons list for Hitmonkey. Now, I was granted early access, well, sort of, <laughs> to Hitmonkey thanks to uh, the CCP. So thanks, Kabam. Now I know Hitmonkey's crystals, his early access crystals have been out. Um, I didn't purchase any, so awesome going for everyone who has pulled a Hitmonkey out of those. So I'm just going to go over a brief pros and cons list with this guy. Now, normally, I don't like to hype up champs, um, but I found it very hard to find any cons with this guy. Like, I found two major ones and a couple nitpicky ones. So it was very hard for me to find any cons for this guy. There are a good many pros. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind too that this is just a rank three hit monkey. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the pros of hit monkey. To start out with, um, he's got high damage. I mean, he gets crazy. He bleeds, he can do critical bleeds, he can armor break with synergies. I mean, this little dude here really can put in the work. He's basically, this is how I kind of see him. I see him as a mixture of Corvus and Domino with just a splash of Rocket Raccoon. So it's pretty much most fights, uh, you're gonna do just a basic medium light medium combo, gonna launch your special two, and the opponent is going to be, well, deaded. He's got guaranteed crits. Now, if you play him like Corvus, if you're familiar with playing Corvus style, you know, medium, light, medium, or medium, medium, you're going to make every hit a guaranteed crit. And then basically, if you throw your special two after the medium, light, medium, all of those hits are going to be guaranteed crits. And unlike Corvus, which is the main factor here, right? You never run out of crits. Once you lose charges with Corvus, you know, he kind of hits like a wet noodle. Hit Monkey, on the other hand, he doesn't rely lie on glaive charges so once you get those crits going they go the entire time either your opponent is alive or you're alive but if you do these medium light medium corvus style play fights launch your special two every single one of those hits is going to be a guaranteed crit now depending upon what you want to do after that is gonna what what monkey scheme i should say you want to put him in is going to is going to decide whether you're going to have you know um enhanced bleeds or you're going to put a disorient on your opponent each special does a different thing so if you want your attacks not to miss and you have assassin's cunning active you're going to want to launch your special one because that activates a vigilance if you want your special attacks to be unblockable then you're going to want want to launch your special one when primal rage is active so it's just kind of one of those things now if this attack does cause a miss or it breaks through a block it refreshes the assassin's cunning and primal rage and hit monkey gains a vigilance and unblockable until Assassin's Cunning or Primal Rage expires. So that's pretty cool. You want some serious damage, launch your special too, because that is where a lot of the damage is going to come from. And then if you want to gain a cruelty buff, launch your special three, and then this also... This causes a cruelty buff to last for 27 seconds. And while it's active, it pauses um, the Assassin's Cunning and, and Primal Rage each time you land an attack. So it's just kind of based on what you wanna do and what you wanna gain from it. Normally, one special two and your opponent is going to be, that's it, game over. Surprisingly, Hit Monkey is very suicide friendly. And what I mean by that is because if you have Primal Rage active, he will shrug those debuffs. So here we go. We do a medium light, or we do a medium medium. And so the next hit is gonna activate Monkey Scheme and you go into another critical hit and that activates the Primal Rage, which allows you to shrug the debuffs. Now, once those debuffs are shrugged, you lose Primal Rage and you're going to want to either activate that or Assassin's Cunning, depending upon what you wanna do. So it is really nice in that factor. Awakenings, right? Because a lot of the champs lately, they have needed the awakening and they have needed a high sig like Red Guardian. Hit Monkey, on the other hand, he doesn't need the awakening or the high sig from what I can tell. And this is a really nice factor. So basically what he gets from his awakening is when the opponent is above or at 25% health or is tagged as a hashtag Merc, um, Assassin's Cunning and Primal Rage last three and a half seconds longer. Now, it, while the opponent is below 25% health or is tagged as a hashtag Merc, 
hit monkey passively reduces their defensive ability accuracy by a certain percentage so this while this is a nice little bonus it's not really necessary and that makes me happy because um the way that kabam gives out sig stones is pretty stingy so any champ that doesn't either require an awakening or a high sig is a plus in my book his synergies are are good they work out very well in his favor um the one with deadpool is great but it does so basically anytime a champ is immune to to, to a bleed they get a burst of passive deep um, bleed damage so that only works if it is a node interaction. If a champ is actually not, if a champ is actually immune to bleed, so someone like Luke Cage or a robot, it's not gonna work on them. It's a node interaction and not a champ interaction. And then the one he's got here um, with Beast is uh, decent. It's probably um, the best one because it places an armor break. So you have that with Beast, Squirrel Girl, or Rocket Raccoon. A lot of people do really like Squirrel Girl, so I could see that one being run. And then um, the one with uh, Spidey is decent. It's um, if you don't have the Assassin's Mastery, it activates it for you. And if you do have the Assassin's Mastery, it starts at 25%. The one with Hawkeye and Black Bolt um, allows you to crit um, on the last three hits of the heavy attack, which is always nice because that's the whole point of Hitmonkey is you want to get those crits. And then of course you have the enemies and you know teammate synergies. Hitmonkey, I feel he's got a a really good um, utility and his utility kit is super easy to use it's basically changing one thing out for another it's not a complicated play style he's got two monkey schemes he's got assassins cunning and he's got primal rage now each one do different things um, primal rage basically reduces block proficiency and armor rating on your opponent whereas assassins cunning stops evade and puts a bleed on and allows you to evade as well if you want to shrug a debuff you're gonna want um, <clears throat> primal rage uh, if not then you're gonna want assassins cunning you want more dot you want assassins cunning up if you want to reduce armor rating you want primal rage up if you want to shrug debuffs you want primal rage up but it's very easy to do he is super easy to use um like he doesn't take a lot you're basically either dexting or hitting and that's all that it takes to switch out monkey schemes so I love that he is super easy to use. He's um, fun and easy to play. He's got a quick learning curve. He's super smooth. I thought he would be kind of clunky with the nunchucks, but he's not, and I highly enjoy his play style. Let's talk about his cons. And the first thing, well, the first two things I wanna talk about, and these are the major ones that I found, is that He's got low block proficiency and a low health pool. His block proficiency is like 54%. So he's squishy like Rocket. So when I said he's like a mixture of Corvus, Domino, and Rocket, this is what I meant with Rocket. So he's kind of squishy and really these are the two major cons that I had found. Let's talk about the shrugging of the debuffs because this one can be tricky and again this is getting a little nitpicky so this is just me getting nitpicky but in order to shrug the debuffs you have to get primal rage up and fighting a champ who is constantly putting them on you like um abomination or morning star it can be a bit tricky now i'm not saying it can't be done because i'm sure that it can but i feel like in that aspect there are just better options remember i gave him you know credit for having nice synergies but the downfall here is he has synergies with crap champs i mean let's face it you're not gonna normally bring in some of these champs with maybe the exception of squirrel girl or maybe black widow deadly origin maybe but you're not gonna bring in og spidey i mean it's again this one here is nitpicky too i'm just i was finding a hard time really finding any cons with him so with that being said how many candies does Hit Monkey get? Well, like I said, I normally don't like to hype up champs, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, he has the highest rating that I have ever given. I give Hit Monkey 9 out of 10 candies. He almost got a perfect score from me because I think he is that good but anyways guys that's all that i got let me know in the comments below what do you think of hit monkey do you think he is worthy of nine out of ten candies do you think he should be higher do you think he should be lower let me know in the comments below and let's discuss as always guys thanks so much for watching if you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more please remember to like and subscribe follow me on instagram and twitter and hit me up in the discord chat thanks guys bye